Hello everyone. Today we're showing our heated compression platens. So these platens can be set up to go up to either uh, positive 650 Celsius or we can also make them to do cooling as well based on the Peltier effect down to negative 30 C. So the platen is connected to the control box here. So this is how you manage all the settings and the temperature. So you can see we got an e-stop there and then this light that will be green when it's running and to turn it on we basically just click the switch here to turn on the heating and then once it's on you control the actual temperature here so we have an Omron temperature controlling you just go through the settings and there's some simple software to uh, turn the heat up or down to establish the right temperature so coming out of the control box there's three wires so one is the power cord. This is a 240 volt uh, power cord. We have the specs on the plugs. Basically, this is exactly what you would use for like a refrigerator or home appliance somewhere in Europe. That's the type of plug we have on there. Uh, this one here, this is the temperature output. So if you want to send the temperature signal, uh, the readings into another data module or into your testing machine to fuse up with the testing data, uh, this is the temperature output here. You can see in the back here we have three wires. So that last wire, that thick one, that is the power going out to the platen. So that's how this is actually heated here. So it connects in here with a pretty rugged plug and then also attached to a thermocouple. So this will go up to 650 Celsius on this one. The top platen here uh, it's six, it's uh, six inches wide and then to control the temperature and have uh, some temperature stability uh, you can run water through the hoses here so you can see the water connections in the back so you can set this up with a circulator but it's not really necessary you can just run this uh, with tap water you can see uh, it includes some hose too so you just um, have the hose set up to your tap and then goes through circulates through and then you can see it coming out here You would have this going to uh, Drainage somewhere. Yeah, so you really don't need the circulator unless you're running this like 24 7 if you're just doing it for a few hours a day You can just run it straight from the tap So again, this is our heated compression platen. We can also set these up to do cooling as well so negative 30 celsius all the way up to about 650 celsius and it does include the controller box as well so if you have any questions you can visit us at universal universalgripco.com thanks for watching